nice. Hey, welcome to Trains Are Fun. I got this in the mail today. This railroad model Craftsman from 1994. Now, all the years I had a subscription to Model Railroader instead of Railroad Model Craftsman. My father-in-law actually had the subscription to both of them. But uh, I saw this on eBay. I was actually looking for something else from a seller. I bought that item. It was the... Um, the lifelike flat car I bought uh, recently. It might have been on my other channel I showed that because it was for my original YouTube channel. But the seller, I always look to see what other things sellers have. And then I saw it caught my eye. Do you see why it caught my eye? Yes, because it was talking about these modeling Long Island DNH GP3As. No, it's because it had the Hornby, Thomas, and Percy on the cover build a children's layout. And I thought that was interesting. And I also got this. This is something I got from my father-in-law, who is more of a true model railroader. I don't know if that's the right term, not say true. I mean, you, you, you enjoy the hobby the way you want to enjoy it. That's the way you should do it. Um, but he's very good at detailing, painting, building, uh, doing scenery, and that kind of stuff. I'm probably better at doing the wiring, <laughs> but... um. I, I'm not good with the building of kits and painting and detailing. He's good at that. But he had this, which is a, another centipede locomotive. This is number 4512. Uh, I need to get this thing out and run. So maybe we'll do that at the end of the video, put it on the layout. This actually got DCC on board. I will run it analog. I think you can run these analog or DCC. Yeah, it says DC or DCC. Um, oops, let me put the piece back in there and it's, it's funny I, I was looking at his my father-in-law's listings and that's how I, I found it and I thought oh, I need to I didn't know he's going to sell his so I said I need to get a different road number so he had multiples and so I was able to buy one from him he's also selling a lot of like railroad patches I was looking at his eBay page see if you had anything that might interest you there's just a lot of railroad patches and uh, shells and things right now, but he has been selling different locomotives. He also got some magazines. There's some locomotive shells. There's, uh, he's just thinning out his collection since he can't do his actual job right now. So he's um, sold quite a bit on eBay lately. And it's Jcone 30123 if you want to see uh, the um, his thing. I'll, I'll put a link to his eBay store uh, below but this article uh, this is why i got it. it was because of this article oh let me show you something before we get to the article <laughs> um i always remember these the, the this is the uh, a train world ad right here on this side but it's not just one page it's all of that lionel <gasps> and there's more bachman river oc <gasps> aristocrat craft <laughs> g scale LGB train world. Oh, look, this page is color train world train land. Um, yeah, they got they had several pages back there in 1994. Um, yeah, so that caught my eye because I remember always looking at their ads. And I, I do believe I bought back in the day years and years ago uh, from them when I lived at a different address. Now we're going to go. Uh, there was something else. Oh, yeah, you wanted to see the uh, layout for the kids. So they have an article in here. It, it talked about a beginner's layout for children. And I really like what the message is of this article by Christopher P. Diamato is getting your young ones, your children involved in the hobby on a level that they can participate in the construction of a set. Now, obviously, they're not going to be able to do the heavy lifting, the cutting of plywood and things, but there's things that they can do. And that's what he did in this uh, article, building this really cool layout. Um, it's four foot by eight foot, which is exactly the same as mine. And he designed it in such a way that it's also easy to operate. So it's really only going to be, you're only going to be running two locomotives. You're not going to get involved in the block wiring like I do on my layout, because that would be confusing to somebody just learning. Oh, look, there's Percy coming around there. But it's very simple to operate and to build. So that's what um, he set out to do with this article. And then it actually shows him 
you know, building the, the table, the bench work, the kids helping gluing down the road bed. Uh, then they're over here also helping with the landscape uh, for the scenery, placing things. So getting them involved, getting them involved. And uh, the other thing I really loved about the article is typical trains are fun style is like the kids are going to put on the train whatever they want. You may have the Thomas and Friends, but they'll go get a Erie or a Pennsylvania <laughs> locomotive. They had an inner city 125, I think they put on there as well. So it's like just whatever they want to do. That's what we do. And I, I, I never stopped being a kid, so that's the way I am. And then the way he concluded it, oh, here's a, a, a layout diagram here. He uses 15-inch radius on the inside, but it's basically, you get a lot of track in just a small 4x8 layout, so pretty neat. But the way he concluded the article here at the end, he says, um, oh, wait a minute, is that the last page? That's not the last page. Let me go here. And there's another there they are with the um is that the inner city yeah the inner city locomotive going on there kids will do anything all right so right here he says am i raising two future model railroaders i don't know but i do know that they're having fun with the layout and no matter what age you are that's the whole point isn't it so very cool and i would like to do things with this channel that encourage you as a young person, whether you're a teenager or younger, to get involved with the hobby, not just looking at the trains like I do, uh, but get involved in building things. Sometimes that's how you can get things um, more cheaply is if you do it yourself, building kits and things like that. Or you can buy expensive locomotives like this. <laughs> so I do the kids stuff and the adult stuff, I guess. I'm just not good at the building part. So I'm going to go get this thing out of the box and put it over there on the layout. So this is my favorite locomotive that I've never seen in person, the real version, the prototype. So there we got the 4512. It's got the engineer and the other guy in there. Um, just beautiful. This, it was a very, from what I remember, this is, in the prototype was a very troublesome <laughs> locomotive, had a lot of problems. I think it was difficult to maintain so not many railroads had them i think there were only like three or four main ones and they didn't have very many copies so i have a 4505 there was also a 4510 on the seaboard and there's no like b unit it's all you got the cab the seaboard there was no like uh yeah just a, a b unit but i love the ridiculousness of all these wheels just just crazy and, and so this thing will actually make it around i haven't run it yet on my layout but i have run the other one which i'll get out in just a minute but it'll go around these 18 inch radius curves so we're going to run it i don't know how the sound's going to be but we'll try it and it's got a lot more features if you ran it dcc there the lights are coming on it's not nearly as good doing it dc All those wheels. Oh, come on. Uh oh, is it going to hit the caboose? <laughs> Looks so ridiculous on this. Yeah. Uh oh. It did derail. Part of the, the back wheels came off there. There we go. They got back on. I don't know what it hit to do that. Never had a problem with the other one, so maybe. Oh no, it's not going to work. I think I'm going to hit the. Am I going to hit the, the wall? Oh, so close. It made it. Let's see if the back hits. Oh, no, it made it. All right.
Just working. <laughs> that is just too funny. Tons of wheels. So it, it, you could do a lot more with it if you had the, the DCC. The DCC, <laughs> not the DC. All right, let me get the other one out. I have no idea how they actually did the prototypes. If you had a double header, which way they would be pointing, but we're going to do them this way. Tons of wheels. We're going to hit the caboose. Nice. Please don't hit the wall. Whoa, so close. It makes it. A beautifully ridiculous locomotive. I love these things. <laughs> nice. They came separated. <laughs> I want to pose these for a picture. You can tell my one on the left my, is a little dusty because I've had it out a long time. The new one's all nice and clean. I love these. I just really love these. We should race them. I'm going to put them on the other side of the track to race them. Get them over there. So that track is track four. I'm turning track four off. Get the other one next to it. Close enough. There we go. So this will be the most ridiculous race I've ever done. A race of two centipedes and I can't let them hit, so I'm going to have to, because these things are too expensive, to let them scratch. <laughs> I may have to stop them here at the first crossing. All right, here we go. Hey, Mark, get set, go. They'll eventually go. What a, a blaze of speed. Here they come around the corner. That's a near miss. A centipede race. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. What's going to happen? What's going to happen here? Uh-oh. That one. He looks like he's come off the track. Oh, he's still. He's on there. All right. We're in for the final stretch. Which one will win? The 45-12. Looks like the 45-05 has won. 45-12 comes in second. That is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, I'll stop them right there. What do you think? I love it. All right, so, um, yeah, if you can find this uh, model railroad, oh, railroad model craftsman on eBay or something, check it out. Um, I enjoy looking at stuff like this. This is what I did all those years um, from the time I was a teenager. Actually, probably even before, I used to check out books when I was in middle school. I'd check out model railroading books and look at them and read them and build what I could. I had a, a very basic layout um, when I was a teenager. I wish I had more pictures of it. I'm hoping that I can find something in a picture album 
of that. I don't know that we took any pictures of my original layout, which was four foot by seven foot, a little bit smaller than this one that's in here. And I would like to build a new Thomas and Friends layout or another railroad layout. I have G scale, O scale, N scale, H O scale. I got, and then all the toy uh, trains that we have. There's so many other things that we can do. But I would like to expand because one of the comments I get all the time about the layout is like, when are you going to add on to it? When are you going to make it bigger? How about when are you going to finish it? I mean, it's only been in production for like the last 15 years. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that, share that with you. And we thank everybody for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. I love all those wheels.